cool, cool, cool. Sacred Foundry, Nicotl. Sacred Foundry, Nicotl. Skill Elemental. I believe this hand crop catcher is uh, not going to get there. We have an Earth and Skill Elemental. Ooh, ooh, let's get him. Let's get him, boys. Um, so none of this land cannot cast Lightning Skill Elemental. It's the only one that can't. Yeah, I want to draw the Mana Source to produce a black. I mean, we've got a lot of damage in our hand that we could even give up a turn, even if he turned three Trons. Like, he needs exactly Worm Coil. Gotta believe, right? Alpine Moons, Paths, Trophy, Dismember, no, no he's, what, oh he's playing Etron, Etron, <laughs> well at least it's not Worm Coil Engine. I'm just gonna tribal flames, right? Oh, and tribal flames is a sor sorcery, so we'll unearth him eventually. <laughs> Man, slow going right now. Do I cycle the unearth? Uh, no. If I six him, I get the swamp. Then I do six plus four plus four. Okay, so the plan is to burn him out then. I just need to get the fucking black source. Actually, I have to turn off auto yields. He might carn me. Again. TKS. Uh, yeah. TKS is good. Do I even run Alpine Man? I should just try to kill him fast, right? grave in this deck. I don't need one though. Can I have some threats that aren't and crop casher crasher? Dealing five to the face has got to be more relevant, right? I could have even like taken so no, I think that was the right tribal flames. Ugin, sure. Let's 
So sad I can't throw a burn at his face. Yeah, this is a, this is a, this is Rainbow Zoo. <laughs> this is Rainbow Concede to Etron because we got gotten. You know, it's going to suck is getting chaliced uh, next game. That's a walking ballista. That's a chalice for five. Yo. I hope this guy looked at. <laughs> He's he can't be serious, right? I hope this guy looked at um, fucking, uh, goldfish and was like, man, this guy's the this guy's the Niv Mizzet player. He's just playing Niv Mizzet with a bunch of burn and wild nacatles now. Oh my god. I can ex I can exert next turn and deal nine. I'm two damage off lethal. I'm a burn spell off lethal. Jesus Christ, this guy just chaliced for five against me. Skelemental, please. Skelemental, one time, one time. Skelemental, please. Tribal flame. Skelemental lightning bolt. Dude, I love playing decks with burn spells. It's just like you just you can just you can just win. <laughs> Look at all the cards that win. This wins, this wins, this wins, this wins, this wins, this wins. <coughs> this deck is so sweet. Okay. This lightning bolt no longer wins. I love it. He's just like, why did I chalice for a bunch a bunch? Blood blood braid? Uh, next turn, he can blast zone anything that matters, so he can blast zone for two. So let's just put him to uh, too low of a health total. Or actually... I guess Blood Braid technically won't do it, maybe. I don't know. He's got to present another blocker, though. That's the good news. Give me the Ancrop or the Blood Braid or the Blood Braid into Ancrop or the Lightning Helix. Walking Ballista gets me. Yeah, this doesn't matter if I fetch. Come on. Let's just one time, one time, one time, one time. Well, this deck is good. And crop crasher, dude. On crop crasher. On crop crasher. Okay, so I've got this many one drops, so um I need to destroy copies of um copies of that thing. Uh this isn't good enough, right? I don't think so. I like the burn. Goif seems eh skeletal. God, what do I take out? Am I like a board control deck? Am I getting outclassed with Nicodle here? Nicodle's just too small. Because he'll eventually play a 4 4. I think I should base my deck around the idea that he's got like a 4 4. He has access to 4 4, so like a 3 3 on turn 1 just isn't that impressive. 
So, so I'm a burn deck. But having the Nicotl around when C Crasher comes in is, is big game. I'm surprised this deck doesn't run any Thoughtseize. I don't know if I need a Skelemental in twice. They generally keep a low hand size. So Helix is probably... Like, Bolts are fine. I don't want that much burn. Maybe I just trim across. That's an Exile Trophy. I'd rather my Nakatos just do regular 3 damage. But I really hate that he's got Matter Reshaper. It's like Matter Reshaper lines up pretty good against Nakatos. Goyf is just a beast D though, right? Just bigger than anything he could have. Grasher seems super relevant. Trauma Blood Raid because of TKSs, right? Just plan to kill. Just plan to kill with TKSs and stuff. Fine. Not sure this is right, but I think the synergy between having board presence with Nicotl and stuff and tossing and crap Crasher in there is good. I'll keep it. It's slow, but I get to go green white, or should I go green black? I should probably go green black. I don't have the Nakatl in my hand. I have an answer for Chalice, but I need to um, have access to all my mana next. So... Mind Stone is fine. Steam Vents is actually the worst land in my deck right now. Well, it's okay. It's okay now. Feels fine now. Okay, so he can... Um, he can do that. Sure, it's a burn spell for five, right? I have, um, I have 11 points of burn in my hand now. The TKS is, like, good, but he doesn't have it. I don't have anything either. Would have been nice to get a land there. Deck kind of wants to draw lands. Yeah, it's got 22. Five mana for a smasher. Smash me up. are not faster than my deck. <laughs> Noble Hierarch it is. Dismember again. Dangerous game we're playing. Another Smasher. Another Smasher is pretty good. Okay, so I just need to draw a fetch. I just need to draw a source of red mana. That could happen, right? did all the damage with burn spells. Oh my god, deck is busted. We just got him. We just got him. 
He just got caught, and, and that took like 10 minutes. Oh, that's a good palate cleanser. Yeah, I know, right? They're just, uh, they're just dismembering my, 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 uh, noble hierarchs. Like, your five fives have, have trample. And I only overkilled him by two damage, so I would have needed a better out. Pretty funny for him to see, like, 40 points of burn. Game one. Is this hand even good if it draws a land? I get a 3-3 three, three Nakatl, and I get a follow it up with 2-3 Tarmogoyfs. Okay, similarly poor hand. Jesus Christ, I wonder what the uh, odds are on that. I, I'm pretty sure I'm really happy to see um, Urza's lands. It's got to be white-green, right? White-green, because I can't do black. Jesus Christ, Ancrop Crasher, MVP of the of the deck. Putting them at 17 health, or 16 health on turn two. Again? Another one? Dude, Etron. People are hyped on Etron. People are hyped on Etron. I will take it though. I will take it. Uh, for the uh, six viewers out there, thank you for strolling along. Um, I'm normally a Rainbow Nib Mizzet player. Always going to be playing the five color decks, but I decided I needed a palette cleanser in a league that didn't last uh, four hours. And uh, now I'm beating up on my Etron opponents that like to turn my uh, one mana guys into dismember or into. Uh, into freaking fire bolts, fire blasts, um, and uh, running into their own chalices. So, uh, thanks for tuning in, and um, I hope that you are enjoying these uh, savage beats. Um, so he needs Tron land, all his dust. So I'm gonna go ahead and assume that he, he doesn't have it, um, and just overextend, right? Because if he doesn't have Tron land all his dust, then he loses. This deck has a hard time casting Lightning Seal Elemental. Lightning Seal Elemental and Lightning Helix are both cards that are off these splash colors. It's like a green red beatdown deck, and it runs two Steam Vents, but it doesn't run like two Blood Crypts and shit like that. It's kind of funny. Oh, he gets to hit the Tribal Flames. What a shame. So I can um, bolt to get the instant in my graveyard, exert, and swing for nine. Should be fine. There's only one card you should take, bro. Uh, get a creature in there, too. Do you have Dismember on your begin combat phase? And it also doesn't matter because the Tomagoys are going to get you. Hope you have all his dust next. One, two, three, four, five. So you can play Temple all his dust. Nice. I like the idea of removing Lightning Helix in this matchup a little bit more than removing some of the other fringy cards. Because I think just Board Presence is going to win the game more than Burn is, even though I kind of burned him out last time. But but if I'm playing this like control removal strat, then that's less of a thing, you know? But man, what an all-star freaking on-crop in, in 
Crasher is. On crap, Crasher is just MVP of the deck. It feels so good. <laughs> and I've got the dream skill mental thing going on. <laughs> That's my dog, don't mind her. This deck is made by the London Mall, it appears. I guess I should have kept the bolts for this. Never mind. Sadly, uh, ramping him is always bad, but he's made it up to five Eldrazi mana. There's not much we can do from that. Question if he wants to hit Knight of Autumn because he wants to keep his Chalice alive. Feels pretty loose to do that, though. Yeah, he's scared of Lightning Elemental. I get to unlock my hand if I draw a land, and I did. So Reality Smasher here is gas, but what am I supposed to do? Block. Probably block. Block with a couple 3-3s three next turn. Or just um, try to crack back. Crack back for 5. I have 8 damage of burn in my hand, so I'm 1 damage of burn off. Smasher doesn't kill me. He has to have double Smasher at least. TKS is good though. He knows my hand. He should be able to be like, well, I should probably TKS instead of Smasher here. Yeah, that's what he's that's what he's doing. He was like gonna play Smasher because he has five, and then he's like, actually, I lose. So I'll TKS to not lose. Then I gotta feed my Nicodle to him to bolt it. It's kind of rough. Karn, Chalice for two. We're getting innovative here. He's like, Tribal Flames is that good of a card. So he is two of all flawless dust. I really don't have to worry about that. Does this deck want to run step links? Probably not, right? It's got to have some non fetches, and fetch shocking every turn is just suicide. Still think the deck could consider Death Shadow. It's like just one copy, two copies. Make a 6 6. But I think Tribal Flamesing opponents out is like pretty sweet. Also, thanks for that follow, Auto Dingo. TKS. Put you to one, hope I draw another bolt. So Lightning Skill Mental, Oncrop Invader, Blood Braid Elf, all of these are good cards. Just not like Lightning Helix. 
Good night. Yo, farming Etron is feels good. And uh also isn't taking that long. Guess that last one was a half hour, half hour plus something, so it's I've got two matches in the hour. Could go faster. Maybe this deck is the real deal. People sleeping on Rambo Zoo. I also molt to uh, six uh, nearly every game. Yeah, this one needs a needs a green source. Guess my luck ran out. Noble Eric notably doesn't ramp uh, Skelemental out. Green, red, Nicodle. Black, red. So it's just like, which one of these two? I can cast this off any land. And I really just don't know if this is going to be impactful. It's more damage, but shrug. Or I could put away the Noble Hierarch and the Blood Raid Elf. I don't think that's right, though. This should be fine. Green, red, and then white, black. Poxy, Poxy, Foxy, Poxy. I would have been able to cast Skelemental too. Okay, let's see if this is fast enough against Prox. Sacrifice a land, discard a card, sacrifice a creature is pretty good. Oh, I forgot. Oh, fuck. I'm bad at zoo. Missed the damage. Collective Brutality without Escalate. Tribal Flames, anyone? Foxes me now, it's actually really good. I have to play off the top of my deck. He's not at a low enough life level total for me to be like super sad. Also, he's got the lingering souls type payoffs and shit like that. So he and he collected brutality so that he could run into Fox, yeah. Yeah, but on the other hand, I can just draw uh tribal flames, right? about that play. Jesus Christ. Dude. <laughs> wow. Wow, my deck feels sick. Man, I molt to five. So he does run smallpox, but I can turn to this. Uh, who's my old bag of bones? Old bag of bones. So he's got a bunch of walkers. I mean, I just feel like this is just a bad matchup for him, right? Out of the sideboard, he could play Rest in Peace. He could play Ashiok. He could play Bantus. He could play Fulminator Mage. All these cards don't really scare me. I, I think hedging against getting ripped is fine. Oh, these cycle if I get ripped. And then Geist of St. Draft is just good, right? Yeah, Geist is good. Smallpox is his only answer, and I can put other creatures next to it. Maybe Lightning Helix feels the loosest. 
Or maybe three drops are bad. Maybe Blood Braid Elf is bad, because I'm not going to make it a four mana all that often. Yeah, I'm okay with that argument. He doesn't run artifacts or enchantments, right? I mean, he's just going to pile on the removal, so I, I like, want to have threats. And he's got all these walkers, probably. No, Assassin's Trophy's bad. It gives him the land, which is really bad. <laughs> just do this. Awkward, I can't cast my skill until on turn three again. I wish I had the Overgrown Tomb here. Fetch for Overgrown Tomb. Jesus Christ. If I wreck this guy. Yeah, dude. Scalamental beats. This deck is just savage, I, I say. Savage. Like, it's it's just like, feels so good. Every single card just does 10 damage. It's like every point of mana you you, you play costs, like, does a, a trillion damage. Collective Brutality does not even scare me. Um, so this is Fetch can get a Sacred Foundry. This Fetch can also get a Sacred Foundry. I really just need as many red sources in play as possible. I guess we'll sleep on it. We'll wait for us to draw more cards. Oh, I, I maybe wanted to hold the Lightning Bolt up, though. So he could have Fatal Push here. I also have 10 damage and burn. So she could have Fatal Push here, and the next turn he could play a Walker. So I maybe just stand, because I don't really want to run my Skelemental like, straight into a Fatal Push. I drew a few too many lands this game. He's chillin'. Uh, does this deck have like a weird like life gain thing that he can do? Can he Kaya? Kaya's Guile against four. Probably took out Bitter Blossoms, right? Bitter Blossoms have to be bad against me. And then he can make lifelink tokens with Soren. Cool. Tribal flames your face. Stomping ground next. Draw for the draw with the clearing. No fatal push. Super super conservative about casting fatal push here. Maybe he has landfall triggers. Maybe he's oh maybe he has brought back. Maybe he has brought. Sadly, I have to grab the steam vents again. I guess that's why we run two. He's going to cast Bright back on me, and then he's going to get skelementaled, and then I'm going to laugh. Nope. So I still didn't really sniff out the fatal push. Sad. Also, this is my last blue source, so I'm not allowed to n not play this here. And crop. Crasher. Can you imagine if he had brought back there, like how sweet it would be? He'd be like, I've got I've got six lands in play. I can play Sun Titan and shit.
time for you to fatal push. Yeah. Also, he could have just fatal pushed with uh, the thing because the, the, his guy left the battlefield. He didn't think of that. And then I've got enough burn in my hand to uh, just end him. Lightning Skelemental. Man, I'm just getting people today. I'm just getting people so hard. This has been like the easiest league I've played in like weeks. No. Why, dude? If he takes Tribal Flames, it also means that he has something. No, he has to take Skelemental. He's looking at eight points of burn. Yep. I still have the Unearths, right? Yep, I still have both Unearths. Yes, please. I don't have the basic swamp, but I do have the basic forest. Man, drew the basic mountain. I should probably flames him for four. So f putting him down to three has got to be the same as putting him down to um, putting him down to two, right? There's not not many things in my deck that can do two. And uh, if I get Inquisitioned again, then that's annoying. Oh, wait, I have a swamp. <laughs> Thank you. You should have aimed for the steam vents. Yeah, I have a swamp, so... Um... I have to imagine there's not much else that I want to bolt in this world, and I really want to top deck Blood... Oh no, I only have one copy of Blood Raid Elf. That's foolish. Because now he can play, like, a Walker and then a Lifelinker, and then I lose the game. If, because I wasn't able to bolt out the Walker. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. <laughs> Lightning Helix might be the worst card in this deck. That was 21 minutes. Um, yeah, so Rainbow Zoo. Really good. Really good deck, actually. I mean, I did just smash like three good matchups, so I'm getting lucky, but damn, it feels good to get some tickets back. And uh, don't want to shill too much, but if you do draw me a follow, it'd be cool. I probably only like stream on Sundays, Sunday afternoons, and stuff like that, and just like randomly when I have free time, um, like probably Thursdays and Fridays if I'm not working. I was gonna go to the bathroom, but let's go ahead and win in 20 minutes, and then go to the bathroom. Looks good to me. Um, I almost always want to be able to cast, um, Skelemental here, right? Can you imagine if uh, Tarmogoyf was just a tribal flames? Um, so it had like five power when you had five land types. It was just a loaded Nakadal. Ooh, mm -hmm. this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. I guess I'm doing the Hogak final boss situation up 3 0. Finally, got to start playing against good decks. So do I value two damage or being able to play Skelemental off the top? Oh wait, I can play Skelemental no matter what. Uh, it's, uh, it's Tribal Flames that I think that I want to be able to play. Okay, let's zoom out, right? <laughs>
play another creature, get a Venge Vine. I get to exert down, swing for... Nice, put an instant in the graveyard. Nice. Oh, he could delve away every creature or something like that. Yeah, so I go back to creatures and sorceries. So can he deal... So he's got... <laughs> He's got 13 damage on the battlefield. Do I need to deal 9 to him? Probably. If he goes into blocking mode. Yeah, I mean, I gotta be like, okay, I'm, I need to be able to beat a... Uh, beat a... Um, beat a second Venge Vine. If he has another Venge Vine, he has to like enable it, so he needs to go like Stitcher Supplier into the Venge Vine. Thank god Stitcher Supplier isn't a 2-1 for no reason. I also did 6 damage to myself, that sucked. Maybe I should have considered basics. Assassin's Trophy main deck's pretty good. Sure, he needs Hogak and Vengevine. He does have Vengevine, so he needs to have Hogak in his hand. Oh no, he can just do that. No, no, man, no, not fair. Okay, we got gacked. <laughs> we got gacked feels bad. These cards are good. These cards seem like the worst. It's like I don't need that. I don't need to be that chunky against um a deck like that. I did a lot of damage to myself that game. Maybe I could have like avoided it. Maybe I didn't have to play to like have skeletal. I'll have to look at the VOD to see if I misplayed that one. And it's a mulligan, right? Hierarch, Goyf with nothing. Might have to cycle. Hierarch, Crasher. It's more like it. These Nakadals are two twos. Wouldn't a split of oh I missed this one. Wouldn't a split of noble and burby better be the colors? I'm assuming that the uh, person who made this list likes noble because of the exalted trigger. Of course. I was on the play against that uh Hogak deck too. It's kind of a shame. God. 4-1. Doesn't feel like justice. I feel like I deserve this after feeding for so many leagues. No reason to hold up Lightning Bolt, right? It would be funny if he needs a discard outlet and I'd be giving it to him with Skeletal, but I don't think it's worth giving up the uh, 6 damage potential. Finder. Four cards. Wayfinder, Wayfinder, looting. Dang. Carrion 
Feeder. Hogak. Dang. No matter what I do, he can uh, gack it up. Bolt the untapped one invader in and deal 9 damage to him, putting him to 4. Or Crasher, rather. Crasher, in, crasher him to 4. He can crack back, and then maybe I have Skelemental to trample over. That's the plan. Oh, Carrion Feeder can't block. I guess I could have bolted the Wayfinder in response to the Feeder. Maybe he lets me bolt his face, though. There's no way he deals 17 to me from here. I think a face bolt is fine. Face bolt put him to 10. Vengevines would he need if I go down to 14? A lot. Can't even crack a fetch. Okay, you're dead. Fatal push? Fatal push is good. I respect that. Still think I got you. There's a lot of creatures here that cannot block. <laughs> so you have another fatal push. the draw I'm probably gonna lose though. These rav traps just have to hit. Yep. <sighs> You're fine. Do I wanna take a lot of damage from my lands? Do I wanna scoop up two blood ghasts? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I'm really tempted to basic forest here. Basic forest and then three types, but then I can't get like watery grave, which would, would be like a land that's not in this deck. I don't want my tribal flames to deal a billion damage. Okay, overgrown tomb it is. I don't know if that um that ravenous trap was good enough, honestly. It, it feels like it was pretty bad, but like if he gets beaters in play, 
do I just start blocking for the rest of the game until he eventually goes big? It's like this slow this keeps him from turn two whole ganking and turn two venge vining in a lot of situations. I guess I could have hit him on that looting. He's like tries to put more stuff in the graveyard and then but he could have fetch land. Yeah, and now he's like not doing anything. Citrus supplier chump block. Double looting. Okay. Okay, we got him. There, he can't win here. There's no way he wins here. Uh, so, Tarmogoyf is a 4-5, so I would like a 4-5, please. Yeah. So, attack for 3. This is a turn 3 win if he doesn't present blockers, because next turn I deal 7 to him. Triple fives him out. Seems good. Sad. Gak. Neonates. Couple chump blockers. Path. Save path for Hogak, right? Because path would only deal three damage here put him to 8, and then it just wouldn't be enough. Knee and 8. Dropping Wayfinder. Citrus Supplier Trigger. Ravenous Trap. If only. If only I had it. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good. I have 10, ten power on the board, and my opponent has nothing. The question is, did this hand actually do anything if I didn't get him that first time? Well, you're just you're just dead done. He wants to put two blood casts, get his Hogak out. wasn't particularly hard except for one game that we lost to Hogak. We lost a game one to Hogak. Can we be blamed? He kept a sketchy hand. <sighs> Look at this. Going for the trophy. Just net decked into the trophy. Maybe my opponent will be like Etron again. And thank you everyone for coming out. Um, I'm normally streaming uh, Rainbow Niv it, but I had to take a break because I was losing and tilted. Um, so played a little bit of Rainbow Zoo now, and we are 4-0 going into our next game. This hand is keepable, but it's not great. At least I'll definitely play Blood Raid Elf. Bolts are good here. Tapped Blood Crypt. Mardu? Mardu, I imagine, is a tough matchup. Oh! Gumbos. Gumbos. That is going to be interesting. I accept your challenge. Warchief is good. I probably have to kill the Warchief. Because he represents a problem. Mm. 
Maybe putting him to um, f putting him dead to an additional tribal flames is fine. I don't know. He's got like slinging lieutenants and stuff, and he has the goblin matron in his hand. I'd be foolish to let the war chief go like that. Matron slinging. Matron Pashmons. Yeah, slinging is the choice. So he gets five zombies, so he can gain five life. So putting him close to dead is going to be an effort. I can get in nine damage here. I don't activate, right? Yeah, I don't exert. That's the idea. I don't exert. If he's sling gangs, it's like so loose. Because he's got to like block all. It's just got like, it's just like so loose. Nice. Nice. Gotta make black. Oh my god. Well, that's just rude. <clears throat> so, bolts have got to be better than Paths Exile. Like, goblins can actually use their mana. I think I stand here. Do I really want to stomp on an ether vial when I can just kill him? I mean, he's got a lot of value, but are any of my cards bad against him? Like, Unearth feels like it could be the worst card, but even then, getting back Amp Crashers and Skelementals is, like, good. His mana base doesn't deal that much damage to him, which is a shame. I can't burn him out as easily. Geistocene Traps might be fine, just because Geistocene Traps kind of hits him really hard. It's pretty easy for him to just block it, though. I think I'm standing. Might be a mulligan. I mean, Tarmogoyf, Tarmogoyf Bolt is like a pretty good way to start, though. And I'll definitely grind him out. If I don't draw lands, I, I could be in trouble. So this this hand needs to draw two lands for turn four. So draw, land, go, draw, land, go, draw. So three draws for the first land, four draws for two lands. Could be a keep. <laughs> Pretty glad they didn't... Uh, they didn't print Lackey. Lackey would have been mean. Uh, yeah, you're getting...
getting bolted. Um, somebody who's a goblins player is going to have to explain to me if it's right to like always bolt the uh, the mano goblins. How much mana damage do I want to take from a mana base? This can't actually fetch the blue land, so it might as well fetch a forest. It does want to f kind of fetch a green land, though, because of um, Skelemental. If I get to four lands here, though, I, I, I like, what does he do? What is this card? Pro blue? Oh, it's a pile driver. Oh, it's this card. First strike and can't be blocked by creature tokens this turn. So pile driver is pretty good. It might even be worth um first strike and trample until end of turn can't be blocked by creature tokens. Let's just go ahead and kill Goblin Pile Driver, right? Cause that's the only way, like you can flood with some hasty goblins and just deal a bunch of damage to me. And I'm I'm playing the I'm playing a control game here because I've got blood braids. It's also got pro blue, which is kind of funny for blocking um, Geist of Saint traps, right? I took four there. I guess I should look at some goblins lists so that I know what I'm, what I'm up against. It's like maybe I should have said bolt. If I bolt there, it'd be good. War chief, okay. It just says first strike, not double strike. But having haste is a pretty scary game. First strike and trample. It's like a lot of stats, man. This blood braid elf here has to be just completely bonkers, though. If I do face seven ten. Could get tar fired. What a freaking sick flame tongue cabin. What a freaking sick 5 0, man. Holy shit. Yeah, that's that's a good card, but. You're dead. He's dead, right? Helix. Yeah, so I helix one and invade the other. We did it. Let's keep on thinking it's on crop invader because of um, the thing. Man, what a five zero! Getting my tickets back. Getting my tickets back. I might just buy this deck. A little over a hundred. So I almost have that right now. Trade in some fetches and stuff. Well, that was a 6-5-0.